great to be here today at Rees Heath College where we've been discussing climate change and the challenge of net zero. Climate change is the greatest challenge facing our generation, but the enthusiasm and expertise that's been available here today shows that we can tackle this if we work together. Outstanding event. It's been born on the back of the 2021 conference which we held. Uh, this is more uh, about achieving net zero. There was over 100 people in the, in the room and there were a lot of business leaders in there, a lot of community groups. And, and what it did really do is, is it got a lot of people thinking about what their stages on the net zero journey are. I'm Sarah Mukherjee. I'm CEO of the Institute of Environmental Management and Assessment, or IEMA. So I'm here at this amazing event talking about Net Zero in Cheshire with some brilliant speakers. I have to say some of the stuff that's going on is really inspirational. I'm Kat Barton. I'm Policy Lead for Deforestation Free Commodities at Chester Zoo. So today we're here at Rees Heath for the Net Zero Conference and I've been talking about deforestation free commodities within supply chains for businesses. The day's been really interesting so far. Lots of different speakers and lots of different businesses here to learn from. The conference today was really to try to get people really thinking about where they're now moving to, uh, to give them that support and that clarity. And, and this will be followed up in the future with, by various other events, conferences and so on, to maybe more specific in, in their individual businesses. My three top tips for a more sustainable business. One, number one is have a look at the IEMA website. There's a free to use tool there, which will give you a sense of where you are in your sustainability journey and also how you stack up against your competition and where the next stage is for you to become more sustainable. Uh, the second is to is start to engage your staff team. It's, it's a great motivator becoming more sustainable. Um, and the way that I've seen small and large businesses use the sustainability journey as a way of not only engaging current staff, but attracting new staff, top new talent, who want to work with an organisation that shares their values. So that's number two. And number three is that this is just good business practice to have a total review through the lens of sustainability, why not? To see what your model is like, what your operations are like, what are your projects like? Uh, through a sustainability lens. It's really, it's good business. It will also help you attract new businesses, uh, attract new work and uh, attract new top talent as well. So what's not to like? There are many tips available on the Reese Heath website for how small, small businesses can help tackle climate change. There are simple things like how to make tree planting more easy, where to find funding from, and what the support is that is available for all businesses, large and small been a huge success really thank you for all thank all the speakers who have given their time up their expertise and and to and to drive this really important agenda mm -hmm.